What's going on everybody? This is Marquise Irvin, the Vegan Nuke. Welcome back for another episode. Today, we're going to talk about a very important topic, high blood pressure. Stay tuned. Blood pressure is the force of blood pressing against the walls of the blood vessels. Uh, high, high blood pressure or hypertension is dangerous because it makes the heart work harder than it needs to. It overworks the heart and sometimes to the point that the arteries begin to harden. It increases your chances of stroke, heart attack, heart disease, and you know, just heart failure overall. Blood pressure, it ranges from healthy slash normal blood pressure to crisis uh, extensive hypertension. And um, typically that ranges from a blood pressure reading is similar to, uh, you'll see it says 120 over 80. It's really like a fraction, 120 slash over 80. And the top number is called systolic and the bottom number is called diastolic. And these things play key roles into understanding the level of your blood pressure as well. There are many factors that can contribute to high blood pressure hypertension. Smoking, drinking too much alcohol, those, those two factors alone affect majority of the population and does and can and will lead to high blood pressure hypertension. Lack of physical activity, being overweight or obesity, those are key factors as well. Diet plays an extremely critical role in uh, the, the chances of increasing your risk of high blood pressure hypertension. Too much salt, sodium in your diet is a leading cause of hypertension as well. Not drinking enough water, sleep apnea, all of these things combined, especially if they happen and occur daily and consistently, will lead to high blood pressure, hypertension, and will lead to other health problems such as heart disease, kidney stones, heart failure, strokes, heart attack. It's just all of it plays an effect and there's so many different contributing factors that you have to be mindful of just your daily day-to-day -day life as well as habits and lifestyle. As many as 95% of the cases of high blood pressure that occur within the United States, uh, the underlying cause cannot be found. Basically what that means, there are so many contributing factors to high blood pressure hypertension that if doctors can't pinpoint what exactly caused your high blood pressure or your hypertension is get labeled as uh, essential hypertension. Another category, if they can pinpoint what specifically is the leading cause of your, your high blood pressure, your hypertension, they label that as secondary hypertension. So you have essential hypertension, which basically means high blood pressure with you know several causes that we don't exactly know which particular one caused it. And you also have secondary hypertension where we have high blood pressure that occur and we know exactly where it came from as well. And keep in mind, like I said, there are many factors that contribute to high blood pressure and there are also um, you know, people that are more susceptible to high blood pressure as well. People with family members who have high blood pressure, smoking, African Americans are also at a higher risk, pregnant women, women who take birth control pills, people over the age of 35, people who are overweight or obese, people who are not active, who drink alcohol excessively, who eat too much fatty foods or food with too much salt are all at risk for, or put yourself at a higher chance or a higher risk of developing high blood pressure hypertension. So enough talking about problems, let's talk about solutions. Now you got a little more you know, general information on high blood pressure, hypertension, ways you can treat your high blood pressure and hypertension and begin to, to fight it off. Start by exercising regularly. Share some weight, share some fat, burn that excess fat, burn some calories, exercise consistently. I recommend exercising at least three to four times a week for about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on your level of fitness and so on. Don't go too hard. Pace yourself, be patient, stretch, hydrate yourself, drink a bunch of water as well. I go for about a gallon a day and you know, whatever your goal is, just stick to it, be consistent and you will start seeing results. Also, lower the amount of salt in your diet. Start cooking with more herbs and spices instead of actual salt, seasoned salt and you know, sea salt and so on. You wanna, you wanna lessen that as much as possible and try to get away from as much fatty, greasy, fried foods as much as possible. Cause that would definitely help with putting your body in a better position to become more healthier and fight high blood pressure and keep it away from yourself as well. A healthy diet is very essential, uh, rich in having a diet that's rich in whole grains, fruits, vegetables, uh, you know, just staying away from dairy and saturated fats and cholesterol can definitely lower your blood pressure. 
limit the amount of alcohol you drink. <laughs> all the college students, the young alcoholics, and all the old alcoholics who just drink all the time. I don't want to say the term alcoholic. I don't mean no disrespect by that, but some people do drink excessively. So uh, you also want to be mindful of your level of stress as well. Quit smoking if you drink. Uh, if you drink, that's already bad, but if you smoke, especially cigarettes along the lines of that nature, uh, that definitely puts you at a high risk of developing high blood pressure as well. Also, uh, you can also get support. Get support. Get someone to join along with you. You know, y'all have a fit a fit journey or a health journey. Get one of your best friends, one of your family members, and you two make a commitment or however many there are of you. You make a commitment to begin, you know, change the lifestyle for the better, exercise consistently. Sometimes when you're doing it with people and have support, it makes it 10 times better, makes it more fun, and makes it easier as well. And that's it for today's episode. This is just some general information, the basics on high blood pressure, hypertension. It goes more in depth, of course, it always do. But uh, nonetheless, I hope this helped a lot of you all gain some basic information and allow you to carry your research further. When it comes to high blood pressure, hypertension, the best thing you can do is just, you know, be as healthy as possible as far as being having an active lifestyle, healthy diet, balanced diet, make sure you eat enough plant-based foods and vegetables, hydration, as well as just being active, stress-free as much as possible. And cut down on the drinking and the smoking, all right? Do that for the vegan noob. I appreciate you all for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe below. This is Marquise Irvin, the vegan noob. I'm out.